guys, I want to do another variation of bubble painting. The reason why is I wasn't particularly happy how the water paints with my last ratio worked. It was a fun project itself, but I didn't feel like it had enough color. So this is a different recipe. Um, it has a two, two, one recipe. So basically it's two parts of paint, two parts of um, a bubble liquid and one part water. So you can use two tablespoons, two tablespoons, one, or two teaspoons, two teaspoons, one, depending on how big you want the project to be. What I used here in these mixtures are two tablespoons of um, tempura paint, two tablespoons of dishwashing soap, and one part water. And so this is gonna make it not so much a watercolor that's hard to see, but a little bit more of a vibrant painting. So it's another option. You can use straws or you can also use bubble blowers, whichever works better for you guys. This recipe is a lot more vibrant and a lot more um, fun to see the product of the work. Ah, I'm loving this one. Okay, this is super cool. I did this one on cardstock this time another variation. Okay, is that not cool? Then if you want to, you can um, just let it sit or you can swipe the bu bubbles different places, um, but the bubbles will dry and then you'll have vibrant art for this one. So this is my thumbs up recipe for the painting. I try not to let a project beat me. That's why sometimes I have to redo the projects to make sure they have the quality that I want for the character education kids. So this one was a thumbs up. Awesome. See you guys next time.